Hey, it's day 168. Anas in the prayer of the prophet. The mother of Anas was very happy that he was growing up with the prophet and learning something new every day. She wanted him to be a man with good morals and be a good model human being. One day, she came to the prophet and said, O oh, messenger of Allah, would you pray for my Anas? Let him be well-mannered and with good morals. Let him have a lot of property and a lot of children. The prophet was very happy with Anas. Upon the request of his mother, he said, O oh, my Lord, in the future, increase Anas property and children and bless him with what you have given him. Anas grew up in the home of the Prophet with love and closeness. He walked in the path of the Prophet and became a man with good morals. He had deserved both the prayers of the Prophet and his instruction. He became one of the wealthy people of Medina. He got married and had a lot of children. Anas thanked Allah for the prayers he received from the Prophet. He always conveyed this message, the beautiful words that he heard from the Prophet to the children around him. Anas had spent the best years of his life in the company and care of the Prophet. He often used to talk about these days later in life. I stayed with the Messenger of Allah for exactly 10 years. During those 10 years, I don't remember the Prophet ever rebuking me, not even once. When I made a mistake, he never said, Why have you done this? Whenever I did not do something I was supposed to do, or whenever I forgot to do something, he never said, Why didn't you do this? Anas bin Malik, who spent his childhood with the messenger, never forgot the memories of those days. With the prayers of the Prophet, he lived a happy life. He lived a healthy, wealthy, and happy life in a truthful and honest way.